piece that wouldn't go down. Let me get that. I'm going to take off these gloves. And then I'm going to pause it. And when I come back, we're going to be putting it in the pot, y'all. Well, you know what? Let me just put it into this bowl. But this is the biggest bowl I got. And um, I don't think all these greens going to fit. But we're going to do it. Let's put them in here. So I'm going to let the water out. It's okay if some of the water gets in there. It's okay. Ooh, wait. See, I'm making a mess. it down You don't have to keep them wet and nothing like that. But I'm just going to free up the sink. Like so. My sinks are clean. It's in this bowl. And I'm going to pause you. And I think I'm just going to actually add it to the... Because um, it's not like a smoked turkey. I usually use smoked turkey. And it's either a wing or... Um, let me... There we go. Now you can see me. Okay, I'm trying not to make it fall down. All right, so I usually use uh, smoked turkey, um, and it, you know, you've seen the turkey leg if you've been to the safe fair or whatever. Um, I usually do the wings because I don't like all them tendons in the in in the legs. Just mm -mm. y'all know I'm fecal when it comes to stuff like that. Ew. So, um, and I boil it, and I boil it to the point where. The meat falls off the bone and the skin is so delicious. But this is just, this doesn't have to boil that long because it's just a ham steak. So it's already cooked and all that. It's just, so I'm going to add the greens now. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to add the greens. Show you, show you me adding the greens. And then I'm going to come back when it's done because it's, this is a long process. I'm going to uh, come back when when the meal is done and show you the green. Well, when I start the next thing, I think. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I said I was going to break up these videos. Instead of one ginormous video with me cooking, you know, chicken, greens, macaroni, sweet potatoes, and cornbread, I'll make me doing the greens i'll show you how i do that that's one then the potato the sweet potatoes then the macaron sweet potatoes and the macaroni i'm gonna do together i'm gonna i'm gonna do that next so anyway i'm rambling so i'm gonna um pause it take you over to the other side show you how i'm putting it into the pot and then we're gonna let that cook it's gonna cook for about an hour or so um and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the sweet potatoes. 
And I'm actually going to cut up majority of the sweet potatoes before I come back to you. So that way when I come back, I'll have like a few and I'll show you how I cut them up and everything. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, guys, I will pause it and I will be right back. All right, now I am on the other side. This is our pot that we have uh, cooking. We take that. It already smells really good in here, guys. So then I'm gonna and do this very carefully and do it away from you. So if it splash, it don't splash on you. I'll show you. This is our green bucket. I usually take it. I do it away from me so if it splash it splash that way not on me and yeah I always tend to drop some but that's okay we'll just pick it up unless it fell on the floor if it fell on the floor and see that water is going in there oh god I'm making a mess here there we go there we go Okay, I got them in there. It's hard to film and do it, but I did it. Even though, y'all know I'm always making a mess. So I'm just going to get my greens. My stove is clean. And pick them up. It felt hot. Of course, if you guys um, start out cooking small, you might not need to cook so much, but I can't make it taste good small, so I cook big. All right, all my greens in there, I'm going to wash my hands, and then I'll come back. Let me remove this bowl. All Okay, all my greens are in there. To that, I'm going to add salt. I don't know. Maybe a tablespoon of salt. You're going to do it to taste, guys. So, um, you're going to add this stuff, and then as, and then you're going to get it cooking. And as it's cooking, you're, you're going to taste, like, taste a little bit just to see if your flavor is right and everything. And if it's not, you can add more, remember. You can always add more, but you cannot take away. So I'm going to add maybe a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons. Because I usually like to just um, add the season that I'm going to season with. Like I usually try to put enough. Because I don't want to just keep adding. Especially with this. So this is maybe two, maybe three tablespoons. It's probably not even that much. Maybe do a little more. Accent stuff. I've been trying to use it. It's oh, it's a fly in here. Oh my god! Cover up my green. So it says it wake up fla the flavor of food. I'm gonna use some of this. Let me just put some of that in there. Cause if you taste it, it doesn't taste like much or nothing. And of course, these are my pieces of onion. I add that on top if you remember. And I don't, you don't really have to break them up. Uh, they're going to separate and break up on their own. These are kind of big. I'm going to just. Hurry up and wash my hands. I don't want no onion smell. It's hard to get rid of that. Okay. A spoon. So I can 
see we will not need to add more water. I'm going to show you guys as soon as I stir this up. Okay, I'm going to show you, try to attempt to show you guys. So, as you can see, we don't need to add more water. What you want to do is make sure that the green, the water is slightly above the greens. That's what you want right there. And then if it cooks all the way out and you feel like you need to add more, um, you can. So, you just stir this. And you let it cook. Ladies and gentlemen, those are the greens. They're cooking. Let me put the lid on it. And those are going to cook. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. And there you have it. Our greens are cooking. I'll come back when everything is done and we'll see how good these greens turned out, y'all. But I already know they're going to be they're going to be fire. So, thank you guys for Thank you guys for um watching again like comment and subscribe if it's something that you see that i do that that your parents don't do or parents mother father yeah we're gonna say parents because dad can get in there too and do it so um if you see something i'm doing that they don't do and you and that helps you or if you see something that that I'm not doing and they do and you feel is good, tell me because I will try it because we are family here. So, okay, guys, I'm going to uh, leave you here and then I'm going to uh, come back after I'm going to set up for my sweet potatoes and my uh, macaroni and then I'm going to come back to you guys. Okay, guys, bye-bye. Thank you for uh, watching my tutorial again. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see all the other stuff that I'm doing or I'm talking about. I'm about to sneeze. So I'm going to um, pause you. I'm going to go now because I really is coming. Yes. So uh, I'll see you guys later. And you guys have a blessed day. Ciao. Oh, I must say, remember, nobody is perfect. And please quit trying to strive to be perfect. Because nobody is perfect. You're setting yourself up to fail. Just be the best you that you could be. The best you that you could be. Be kind, polite, you know. Just 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 smile a little bit, you know. You if you did that, you would feel like, whew, I feel like I done lost weight. Yes, you got rid of all that evilness. So I just want to say, be the best you that you can be. God bless and Stay cool.